The Enche Elubu Road is a main link between the food production towns and villages in the Western North region and other parts of the country. The 71 kilometer road is where several tons of cocoa, timber, and foodstuffs are transported to either Takradi Harbor or other places in the region. The communities along the stretch have not seen any major rehabilitation. This has led to the communities being cut off from the rest of the country. People walk long distances to reach their destinations because passenger transport has ceased. Several trucks loaded with cocoa beans are stationary due to the state of the road. Some even get stuck in the mud. This is what farmers, drivers and residents that commute between Enchi and Elubu Road goes through every day. This is how bad the road is. On my way here, a journey that was supposed to have taken me approximately two hours. We are on this road for almost six hours now and we've gotten nowhere. Farmers and market women are upset about the bad nature of the road. These are market women who are traveling from Elubu to Enchi and I'm told they set off somewhere around 1 p.m. And as I speak to you now, it's almost 6 p.m. and they are still stuck here on the Elubu Enchi road because of the bad nature of the road. They are very frustrated. They are not too happy now. Let's engage uh, with them and find out how the situation has been like uh, from Elubu to Enchi. They are currently uh, somewhere in the middle of the journey. Let's talk to a few of them. Madam, one. 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 On our way, we came across a nurse and a police officer who could not hide their frustration. This road has been a burden to us, especially working hours. When the time due for you to go for your vaccines, the vehicles that are supposed to go in and out are no more going because a car will block due to the road and you cannot get access to your vaccines in time. Being a police officer around here is not easy at all. Transporting as a suspect to and from court is very hectic. As police officers, you are not supposed to allow prisoners to escape. And you can imagine the nature of the road. Member of Parliament of Aowin, Matthias Kwame Nencho, was also worried about the state of the road. I lobbied during the time of my, 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 my party, the NDC, and a new contractor was brought. Uh, he started setting up the base at a place called Kwa. When you get there, you know the place. And unfortunately, uh, it was close to the elections. And as the elections was going on, the man just packed his things and then left the place. So the road is now left to the fate of the people. So I'm only hoping against hope that something good might come out. Municipal Chief Executive of Aowin, Samuel Edu Jemfi, is only hoping the Ministry of Roads and Highways will come to their aid. The president has assured us and I think the budget has captured it. Hmm. You see, Elubu Road is an international road. It's an N12, N12 road. Uh, it starts from Apmenim and then to La Côte d'Ivoire. That is the Western Corridor Road. Uh -huh. So it's an important road that the president has it at his heart. And the president has used this road if I can count more than four times. In June 2018, government announced it has secured funding to complete the 71 kilometer Elubu Enchi Road, but contractors are yet to go on site. Construction work on the stretch began in 2011, but contractors have abandoned the site. The chiefs, cocoa farmers, and residents along the Enchi Elubu Road are calling on government to fulfill its promise of having their roads fixed. From here at NC Elubu Road, my name is Joseph Armstrong reporting for TV3 News.